Hey guys, LukeMan97, back with another video on BeamNG Drive. Today is my first BeamNG video on my new computer. If you haven't seen the new computer yet, go and watch my new gaming studio tour video. Um, this new computer is a lot better for playing BeamNG than that old laptop. So I think you guys are going to enjoy this video a lot better with no lag and stuff like that, and full screen recordings. But anyway, today we're going to be checking out the Folkton Sea Wiz mod, which is a missile slash gun defense system that you can use to shoot down things. So the first one is the gun version, um, and then the second one is the missile version. We're going to check out this version first. And as you can see, it spawns in things a lot faster than before. Okay, so we're going to put it up here to the... We're gonna, I'm gonna set it like on top of the, a little bit above the castle in Castellet, Castelleto, whatever you call the city. And if you notice, it actually floats in midair. That's one of the characteristics of it. So there's, let's see, there's manual mode where you can move it yourself. You fire it with, by pressing the space key. There's semi-auto, I think, which aims for you, but you have to fire. And then there's auto, which is supposed to aim for you and fire, but I've had some problems with it, so I'm not sure. Anyway, let's go ahead and take off. And by the way, you'll notice this is kind of an extraordinary skin, Egypt Air, on the Antonov AN-12B. If you haven't seen the AN-12B before, go check out my my video on it from before. It's a really cool mod, like it's the biggest plane in the game. But anyway, I have the, the huge livery pack you can get for it, so that's why I have the Egypt Air skin. You're up. Okay, so we're going to let that fly up now and see it's aiming for us. Let's just start firing. As you can see, it tore off the right wing, and we're going down right now. So, yeah, that's what happens when you use Sea Whiz on a plane. Anyway, sometimes it can survive missile strikes. Let's see. Yeah, see, it did survive. I mean, sometimes it can survive gun strikes, but it rarely survives missile. Almost never. I just took off two of the engines. But, yeah, let's check out our FPS real quick, just to see how much we're averaging on this new PC. We're averaging around 60 or 55 FPS on here. And that's great, because on our old PC, we averaged like in the teens as far as FPS. And t keep in mind, I have two vehicles spawned in, and this is a huge plane. So if it was just one vehicle and it was a tiny car, it, would, it was like around 80 when I just had one little truck. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, it always does that for some reason. I wish I could find a way to make it survive, because that'd be really cool. But... Rotate. You're up. Okay, let's just let that climb. Discharge a few. Oh my goodness gracious. Why does it do that every time? We're going down, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so you see how the the regular one works. We're going to check out the missile version now, which honestly is just even more powerful than this one. Oh, for some reason it had to spawn crooked. I don't know why. There we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and change it to semi-auto mode. Look, look at this. I fire one missile, look what happens. That's crazy, how that can just... Okay, let's flight engineer camera, co-pilot. Anyway, let's get up in the air and see what this can do in the air. Like, 
literally, you can't outrun these things. They're like targeting missiles. They target, and they don't. The the thing, the shooter doesn't just. I mean, not shooter. The turret doesn't just target. The missiles do too. So it's hard to avoid them. And if even one hits, you're done. Like that. But. And you'll notice we're using Italy for this video. Italy is one of my favorite maps in the game, and it's one of the biggest default maps in the game. No, it is the biggest default map in the game. Because I think there is modded maps that are bigger, but it's the biggest default map in the game, and one of the biggest maps ever. So, my old computer used to... didn't run it well. So, I didn't use it that often. In fact, I used grid map mostly, but... Italy's always been one of my favorites, so now that I have this computer, I can use it without any lag, and it doesn't take so long to load. Anyway, though, I think that'll be all for the Falkton Sea Wiz, or Abishu defense system. I like to call it Eagle Eye. By the way, props to Crash Frontier for that name. Uh, he used it in one of his videos called, I think it was called... I forget what it was called, but he used it in one of his videos. Oh yeah, the video was called Under Attack, but he used it in one of his BeamNG videos. And I like the name Eagle Eye. But anyway, that'll be all for the Folkton Sea Wiz. If you want to download this mod, I'll have the link to it down in the description below. Um, let's just fire it. There we go. Anyway, I'll have the link down in the description below. So... You can down, just click the link and go download it. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoy this mod and the video, too. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.